So this is a brief overview of this code. In these first couple lines, I'm importing all the libraries that we'll need in order to run this project. This first one, we have the GPIO library, which will allow us to access input from the GPIO pins. The second one is an import of the DHT11 library, which you guys should have downloaded in the description. And then these next two are in order for us to access the date and time. And this last one, Firebase, will be used to push and receive data from our Firebase database. And in these next couple lines of code, we have our Firebase configuration, which you should be able to copy and paste from your Firebase console once you create a new project. And then these next couple lines just initialize the configuration and we create a variable that will reference to our database. In these next couple lines of code, we set up the GPIO in order to work properly with our DHT11 sensor. And on this line, I created a variable instance in order to reference to the DHT11 sensor. And as you can see, I referenced to pin 14 because that is the pin that we plugged our sensor into. And next up, we have our while loop which will be constantly running as we have the program running. And uh, in this first line, I set up a variable that will allow us to read the data from our DHT11 sensor. And this if statement right here will constantly be checking whether the input received from the sensor is valid. And then if that result is valid, then this next if statement will check to see whether the user is pressing the update button in our app and if they are pressing it the updating variable will be changed to yes and this program will continuously be checking whether that updating value is yes and when it is then it will continue to update the Fahrenheit humidity and last update values to the sensor values